In this video, I'm going to show you the system I recommend for live streaming with an external camera and how to live stream to Facebook or YouTube. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. My most popular video to date has been about how to live stream with an external camera. While that video was made over a year ago, technology and features have kept moving right along and live streaming seems to be exploding everywhere. So I'm going to show you my updated for 2018 recommended system for live streaming to Facebook Live or YouTube. There are three parts to the live streaming video chain. The video source, which could be a single camera or a video switcher with multiple cameras. The video interface, and then the computer and streaming software. I have a whole video about how to select a camera for live streaming, and another about how to use a video switcher with multiple cameras. You can find those linked in the description below. Right now I'm using my favorite entry-level camera that I recommend for anyone just getting started, and that's the Canon Vixia R800. There are three reasons I like it. It's cheap, it has a clean HDMI output that can be cleared of any display text, and it has an audio input where you can connect a feed from your mixer, all of which make it great for starting out your live stream. For the video interface, the AJA UTAP has become my favorite device for live streaming, and there are several reasons why. First, it just works. Unlike a certain company's products, who I won't name, where you have to install a bunch of software and drivers and then they work with certain camera outputs but not others and you have to get all your ducks in a row just right to get it to work, the UTAP, it just works. There's no drivers to install, just plug your camera or video system into the HDMI input, connect it to a USB 3 port on your computer, open your software and start streaming. I can't say how much a breath of fresh air this device is compared to others that I've been using. The only drawback I'd say is that there are two versions, an HDMI input and an SDI input version, rather than having both available on the same device. You can find links to both versions in the description below this video. You'll need to do some thinking about what your video source will be. If all you ever want to do is stream from a single camera, get the HDMI version. But if you've got a roadmap for expanding your live stream and you plan on using a switcher in the future, I'd recommend getting the SDI version. And then if you start with a single camera, convert that to SDI until you get your switcher. I really prefer the locking connectors of SDI and also the fact that you can run it over much longer distances. And finally, the ATEM TVS HD video switcher, which a lot of people use as their first video switcher, doesn't have HDMI outputs. It only has an SDI output. So put a little thought into which version of the UTAP you end up getting. You can connect the UTAP to a Mac or PC, whatever you're comfortable with. If you're buying something for this purpose, start with at least an i7 processor and 16 gigs of RAM. And of course, make sure it has USB 3 ports for the UTAP to connect to. To stream live on YouTube, you do need to use software like OBS, which is free. In OBS, add a video capture device and give it a name and then select the UTAP device from the drop-down of video devices on your system and click OK. The one odd thing I did run into is that the audio from the UTAP wasn't coming into OBS on the audio device called UTAP, but instead on the one labeled Mic Aux. I did verify that this really was the audio from the UTAP. I'm not sure why that's happening, but just make sure you find the audio that is coming from the UTAP and turn that one on. Then open the settings and on the stream tab select YouTube as the service and copy and paste in the stream key, which you can find in your browser on your YouTube channel. Click on the live stream menu option and you'll find it there. Back in OBS, in the output tab, you'll want to set your video bit rate, usually start around 2500 for a 720 stream or about 5000 for a 1080 stream. Click OK, then click start streaming in OBS and you're live on YouTube. To stream on Facebook Live, you don't even need to use software like OBS. Just go to your publishing tools, click the create button, select live video, and in the drop down on the right, select your UTAP device, and then also select the UTAP for your audio source, and you're ready to go live on Facebook. Now, I will say there is one compelling reason to still use OBS software to stream to Facebook. And that is when you switch over to the connect tab, where you would find your stream key to enter into OBS, you'll find this embed button down here on the bottom right. And this actually gives you HTML code that you can use on your website to embed your live stream video. The UTAP is compatible with just about any live streaming software. All the popular ones, vMix, Wirecast, and I even tested it with the live stream producer program that we use, and it worked fine. 
So that's my recommended setup for live streaming to Facebook or YouTube. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to my channel to see all my upcoming videos. Until next time, bye.